beep, boop, boop. All right, so we got one intuition left. Uh, the question was... Evelyn died... Sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was writing, working on a manuscript. Okay, so his face says... Lie. Uh, I doubt that. Um, because... Uh, this is sort of the same re like reaction he was giving us before. And it didn't seem to be doubt then. <laughs> um, well, we have no evidence to put him anywhere else, do we? Uh, I don't suppose... So... What is that? No, was that one? The threats that of violence? To, to threats of violence. Uh, made by McCaffrey. No, that I think that's it. Hmm? Because the other guy said that happened after... Like, he was so pissed about her having his book that he was, like, freaking out about it. Right. That must have happened last night. Must it have? I think so. I'm not convinced of that. I'm I'm fairly sure, but you know. Do you want to try saying lie and see what where? Yeah, Phelps I mean that's probably us? worth a shot. Okay. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? At the rail yard. Okay. Do we have? All right. So now, now at least we now we have very clear of what we're looking for. Yeah. Proof he was at the rail yard. Well, uh, we have no way of li linking the lipstick to him. The handbag. No, because, like, that other dude found it. Time of there. death is not useful. I mean, uh, it would be if we had something else to go off of. Yeah. So, back out, I guess. Right? Either we've missed a clue and we're missing something, or I mean, it's we've doubt. probably missed three clues. Okay. But still. I mean... I'm going to go with doubt. All right. Do you disagree? I mean, I don't see anything here. Seems suspicious, but like I said, it seems like he's acting sort of the same way he did yeah, before. Like I made a mistake. Here we go. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. Fifth I won't give up names of party members. Good. To your funeral. That seemed correct. How was that wrong? <sighs> Access to tire iron. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? We've seen it before. <laughs> now he's mm -hmm. staring us down. I want to use the intuition. I feel like this is a really crucial moment. It probably is. I'd still check the notebook first before I would do that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, victim, body shows signs. I feel like probably the best thing we could prove is, like, motive? If, if he's actually guilty off uh -huh, of this? Because uh -huh. he's sort of saying, like, there's no reason for me to kill her and then do this. But, like, I don't... All right, let's just try lie and see what he says. Sure. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Ah, I called that much. Good job. Uh, prove that he wanted to kill her. This guy. Threats of violence, yeah. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. What? He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I certainly don't believe that. I told him he made a terrible that. mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. All right. So now moving up to a 45. 
I want to stop. Well, we're with doing one better than the last time this happened. Yeah. Why is the phone here? So we can track down that cab from before, obviously. Let's use it. Operator, give me dispatch. One Excellent. Moment, detective. Putting you through now. Oh. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks, ma'am. Wow. Huh. That's a clue. I'm not convinced of that. All right, so I, th I th not every suspicious character background is going to be relevant. Um, all right, so I'm gonna set the location. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices at the place. Hey, how's you it going, McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. What does it say? Events prior to murder. Yeah. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. So that's a lie. You say it's a lie, and then we say that what's-his-face said that you killed him. Most likely. Right? I don't really see another way for that to go. Otherwise, we wouldn't come back here after Can the other guy said that. Caffrey previously cha uh, charged with petty theft. Oh, okay. Wish we'd known that before. Yeah, I mean, we probably could have found that out if we had questioned him properly earlier. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay. Because we sort of asked, like, oh, like, do you have a criminal record? And he was like, no. Right. Uh, disposing of evidence. Uh, okay, so that's what we do, right? I mean, we say lie, and then we call this. I Yeah, I think so. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? Um, I think I'm going to have a stroke. What? Yeah. What fucking hotel room? I thought this happened, like, at that guy's apartment or something. I must have missed something. I, think, I still think we need to do this. I think it's probably correct. It's either that or we backtrack and use our intuition. I don't know why we would have come back here after just gaining that one piece of evidence if it wasn't this. Yeah. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on this floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. Please, God. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And McCaffrey framed him. He said I yep. came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn. McCaffrey framed him. Yep. All right. Well, now we know. And then it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. And I don't know, detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. Oh, was it me? I'm not charging him. So yeah, leave interrogation. There's no way I'm charging him. Yeah, no, it's it's Wait clearly here. the other guy. Can I? Of course, for all we know, we've we've missed some piece of evidence that's like, oh yeah, by the way, he saves orphans for a living and. <laughs> Yeah, right? This is literally an angel sent from God. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Another question. Wasn't expecting that. You were that. in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. With him. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. I have a pen right here. I can you didn't give it mention to you. petty theft. <laughs> I've never been in trouble Just for take violence. the pen if that's, that's all you wanted. Don't, here, don't be killing it? ladies. 
The expression, I would kill for a pen, should not be literal. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's... That's the salient point here. <laughs> He's literally like, well, at least I didn't kill anyone. Objection! Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Because there, because was, there was an, an assault, assault charge. charge. Like, how is that a question? You don't think we can research that shit? Previously charged with petty theft, assault, uh... It's fine. Just press the button. Okay. <laughs> we know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! Fuck you! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed Pretty to sure call Rusty's himself Razor a says man you're supposed and to Evelyn hit her. Summers, a poor, Truth. drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Got you. Charge suspect. A. You sure? You want to charge the other guy? A. Governor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. But I'm just a cop. I feel Congratulations, like... boys! You bagged the fine catch. Fuck yeah! Another red to boot, Grant. Another now, red to boot. I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Yes. Oh, finally we got one right. <laughs> I mean, we've managed to successfully. Accomplished some cases before. Yeah, but not act not on purpose. <laughs> I feel like this is the first time we actually. That's probably fair. Like succeeded on. Oh, is that purpose. sixteen out of seventeen clues? It's, it's not bad. It looks like it. it might be fifteen. Uh, I, I, I've got I've got a, a new theory. Yeah. Are you ready for this? What's that? I, I think it is both a series of unconnected individual killers and a serial killer because the serial killer is a ghost possessing the bodies of all these people, making them murder women in a similar fashion. Now we just need to think of what historical figure who would have died before 1947 could be possessing all of these people and killing them with the initials BD. Um, we'll save this revelation for the next episode. Bob Dylan. Could be.